Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. So it's no surprise but young people are dropping like flies. I mean every other day we hear about children killing children over childish antics and pathetic beef that's so nonsensical. And sadly another young life was lost in South East London. And again, sadly he's only going to be another statistic. So police have said 15 year old boy was stabbed to death in a busy street in Woolwich, South East London, only a stone's throw away from the main Tesco. And now police are on the hunt for the murder suspects. Now I'm not a rocket scientist, but the first place I would look for evidence would be social media. After all, I'm 90% sure that some deranged idiot will be on Facebook or Insta or Reddit, typing away, laying claim to the publicised murder. Or if not, then there's going to be a bunch of people trading theories and conspiracies and rumours to say the least. Now, this 15-year-old boy was stabbed to death on Monday evening at 5.25pm before brave members of the public saw the boy bleeding out and they attempted to save his life. Now, as to the actuality of the people saving the boy's life, it was posted on Snapchat and social medias and it showed members of the public holding up sheets in the middle of the road to try and stop traffic from getting a glimpse of the injured boy attempting to be saved. Other footage also showed a member of the public desperately performing CPR on the young boy. Now, to be honest, both sets of footage was heartbreaking to watch. Now, people have to get it through their head that this 15-year-old boy is so relatable in so many ways. I mean, after all, this could be your friend, your neighbour, your brother or your cousin. And for some asinine reason, people can't seem to talk out their problems. Instead, these criminals and murderers are so quick to pick up a knife and stab someone to death because of such trivial situations without weighing up the pros and cons. And just for reference, there's no pros to murdering someone. Now, as I stated, the murder suspect is currently on the loose. In order to cast a wider net, armed police had sufficient evidence to believe that they needed to close down Tesco when they heard that the suspect may be inside. Now, at the crime scene, early reports say that there was actually three knives found at the scene. Now, as to who the knives belonged to, that has not been established. But again, these are kids killing kids. So it's not far-fetched to believe that one could belong to the culprit, another one could actually belong to the victim, and another knife could really belong to a third party. And as I say that, it's actually horrible to think. Again, the fact of the matter is, children are so deluded and brainwashed into believing that they get points for carrying knives and being so reckless. It's only when you grow up and realise how much destruction you have caused to their family, or God forbid, they have kids of their own, that's when they will pray that karma is not real. Police have set up a police tent and large parts of the area have been called on off while forensic experts gather up vital clues. Also, dozens of officers have been stationed in the area to preserve the crime scene, with even entire roads closed off. Now imagine this, the attack took place on Monday evening, 5.25pm. The 15-year-old boy was stabbed and pronounced dead at the scene just after 6pm. So that's 45 minutes. This poor kid had to endure the most pain he has ever felt in his life. Now think about the shock the fear, the regret he would have thought about, or the fleeting images that would have passed through his mind, all the things he would never get to tell his parents or his loved ones. His life was literally erased the moment the knife pierced his skin. All I can say is condolences. Stay safe, safe.